welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you're watching today because today I have a different video. I actually want to talk about is it worth to pursue a master's degree? So I did my master's in international fashion marketing and actually I just want to talk about is it actually worth to get a master's degree? I know some of you are in school perhaps doing their undergrad, so their bachelor's degree. And maybe you guys are thinking like, okay, should I go for a master's degree? Or maybe should I just start working for a few years and then later on go for a master's degree? So today I'm going to give my point of view on whether you should pursue a master's degree or not, and what you have to think about before you actually enroll yourself for a master's degree. So first of all, I'm just going to talk you through the master's degree that I did and why I chose to do uh, international fashion marketing before I give you three things that you need to consider before you enroll yourself for a master's degree. So first of all, I decided to go for international fashion marketing. This is actually something, I wanted something to do with fashion and I wanted something with marketing. That is something that I really decided uh, when I was doing my uh, bachelor's degree somewhere in the third years. My bachelor's degree was four years. So I think somewhere about my third Third year, I really wanted something with fashion because I, I was already doing blogging, mainly focusing on, uh, on fashion, and I really liked marketing. So I was like, okay, that would be a cool thing to actually merge those two together and actually do a, speci a specialization on that. So I went online, I was browsing here and there, and I was like, it was quite limited in the Netherlands to find a master's degree that was doing international fashion marketing. I don't know if I even found one. So that's why I was looking, okay, so if I'm not going to do a master's degree in the Netherlands, why not go uh, outside? So then in the UK, for example, I saw, I saw quite a lot of university providing this master's degree. So I was like, okay, UK it is. And to be honest, if you think about UK, obviously you're going to think about London. So. Uh, actually, the decision was quite quick. I was like, okay, let's go for it. I'm gonna look into universities in London. And actually, that's how I started the application process. One school, actually, I didn't get in. Uh, they weren't really, you know, satisfied or something. They weren't really convinced about why I really wanted to do this uh, uh, master's degree. Sometimes you have to provide like a, a report, it depends on what they ask and it depends on what kind of uh, master's degree you're going for. But in my case, they were asking for like a, a report. I had to do some sort of investigation of a uh, of a brand or something. I, can, I can't really remember it. And also you have to write like a cover letter explaining why you want to pursue this master's degree. So one school, uh, I didn't get in, I was really, really, I was really down, I was really sad because it's one of, as they claim, it's one of the best art school you can uh, you can go to. But yeah, eventually it didn't hold me down. I was like, okay, if plan A is no longer the picture, let me go for plan B. So actually I found a uni, a smaller uni that was offering the same masters and I was like, okay, let's go for it. And that's how I got in. So why did I actually wanted to do a master's degree? So I wasn't forced or anything. Um, my parents didn't force me to do a master's degree. They were like, they were happy when I told them that I want to pursue a master's degree, of course, especially in that. It's something that, to be honest, like an African household, they're really proud and happy when their son or daughter uh, heads off to do a master's degree or like PhD and you know become a doctor or anything uh, so but I didn't have any pressure my parents didn't pressure me it was like yeah that's your choice uh, but I, I wanted to to be honest I didn't necessarily want it to because I needed it in a way to do to find a job in my area but one, I just wanted to study. I was like, oh no, the nine to five life, not ready for it. I just want to still enjoy the students, student life, explore the world, you know, move abroad. You know, let me just go to school again. And why not outside 
uh, let me get out of my comfort zone so i left the netherlands so actually that was my main reason why i did a master's degree but um till this day i don't regret it How, uh, however it has made a little bit of a difference uh on my cv but to be honest the job that i want to do and even the job that i'm doing now you don't need a master's degree uh, for it so if you would ask me is it worth that i pursue a that I pursued my master's degree, I would say yes, because I don't regret anything that came along with it. I met new people, I had a year abroad, you know, so you have, I have an ex I have experience abroad. Uh, meanwhile, I was also working on the side, so I, I um, got to experience how, how it is to work in London, how fast paced it is. And, you know, I learned a few bits or two uh, of my master's degree, but uh, I don't need it for the job that, I, that I'm doing now and also the job that I'm looking forward to do later on. Let's get to the three things that you need to consider if you want to pursue a master's degree. Okay, so first of all, uh, these are my tips and my point of view and obviously it also depends on what kind of master's degree that you want to pursue but when it comes to a master's degree if for example marketing or uh, like uh, a mixture of fashion and marketing I think there are three things actually in general there are three things that you need to consider first thing is do a master's degree because you really want to it sounds a bit obvious but if you if you finish your bachelor degree and you still don't know what kind of specialization you want to or which kind of field you want to work in you might be doing a master's degree that you really don't like to be honest a master's degree is you know it requires a lot of commitment a lot of your spare time to you know sell a lot of self study so it's not like you, you like you go to class that often and this and that it's a lot of self-study, determination, motivation, and you really need to like the course that you're doing because otherwise I think it'll, it'll just be a hell. Um, and to be honest, a master's degree, as we all know it, it's quite expensive. Obviously, it depends on which country you're living in. But for example, in the UK, it's quite expensive. Uh, I think master's degree, they start off around eight thousand pounds per year and this also depends if if you have a uk passport or if you're someone coming from uh, a different country outside of the eu it might even cost more uh, but that's like approximately what a master's degree costs in the states i know for sure that it's way more than what they pay in the uk for a master's degree so you really need to think about like, do you really want this? Is this something that you really want to do? And is this course that you're thinking something that you will enjoy doing? The second thing that you need to think about is the job that you want to do after your master's degree. Do you actually need a master's degree for it? Would it make a difference in comparison to someone who didn't pursue a master's degree? Do you think you'll get an advantage um, in that position? So in my case, uh, I'm in the digital marketing here. Uh, that's what my uh, role is now. I'll also do another video of my career story and what I'm doing now, where I'm working now and where I worked previously. I'll do another video on that. So right now I'm working in digital marketing. And to be honest, you don't need a master's degree to work in digital marketing. Actually, you just need you need to be savvy you need to be keen on you know how what the trends are in the digital marketing world and uh, just also a few years of experience whether it's with a company or whether it's like freelance actually you're good to go so do the job that i'm doing now for example you don't need a master's degree to pursue it like i'm working with uh, a lot of uh, colleagues that didn't pursue a master's degree and we are doing the same job the field that I want to work in, I think it doesn't, it's not really necessarily to uh, get a master's degree. But for example, my sister, on the other hand, she's uh, studying medicine. So obviously, obviously she needs to pursue a master's degree to do a specialization in some kind of field. She told me like without it, like just a bachelor degree in medicine won't get you anywhere. Fair enough, so you have to pursue it. You need a master's degree 
um, to actually get to your uh, final destination. But in my case, it's not really required. The third thing that you need to consider and to think about is, will it make a difference on your CV? So you're spending a lot of money on your master's degree and you have to think about if you put this on your CV that you did a master's degree in whatever, so in my case, for example, international fashion marketing, will it make a difference? Do you think people will be like begging you to come and work for them? In my case, it can make a difference. Like obviously it can make a difference, I think, but not necessarily. Like I've been to, uh, I've done loads of interviews. I've applied for loads of jobs and it depends. I think in my field, doing a master's degree is a plus. To be honest, if I look into the requirements of several jobs in digital marketing, what they will ask for is like a degree, a bachelor degree. They wouldn't like, you wouldn't come across vacancy in digital marketing that often that is saying, oh, a, a master's degree is required. They just need, some even don't ask for a degree. Um, some do ask for, a lot of them ask for a, a bachelor degree but master's degree, I don't often see that. And actually what is important for them is to have knowledge about several, um, you know, digital marketing tools. You have uh, Facebook advertisement, advertising, Instagram advertising. If you are savvy in SEO, SEA, so that's uh, search advertisement and such, you know, those kind of CRM platforms and so on. So that one, to be honest, you can do a crash course and you know be really savvy. Uh, if you're doing freelance for a few years, you already have quite a lot of knowledge about several tools. So I think definitely it can make a difference, uh, but in my case, not necessarily. And it depends on which, also which country you're uh, working in. I find that in the Netherlands, they are more focused, like they really acknowledge when you have a lot of degrees and diplomas. So it can make a difference in the Netherlands, I feel like. When the UK, for when I was in London, they're mainly focused on top experience. They really look into how many years have you worked in that kind of role. Uh, role before do you have experience in this kind of field and such so i feel like in the uk it's more like your experience and the netherlands is more your like more degree that's how i experience it to be honest also in the netherlands if you have two people on a job okay that's not always the case but you can earn more when you have a master's degree than uh, someone who has a bachelor degree, even though you're doing the same job, just because the other person is um, has a master's degree and the other one doesn't. In the UK, I think it's not like that. It's more your experience. That will actually determine your annual salary. Those were the tips for today, guys, on whether you should pursue a master's degree. Uh, tell me your story. Are you currently in uni? What course are you following at the moment? And are you actually thinking about pursuing a master's degree? I would like to hear from you guys. Drop your comments in the comment section. If you like this video, also share, like, and subscribe. Help me out as well. And thank you for watching today. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oh my darling, oh my darling.